Hello there everyone, The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 6 of our Uncharted Expedition series, where today, uh, well, we're looking for the stronghold, we finally get our compass, we're, uh, yeah, well, you'll see, it, it, it goes, it, it's, it, it goes, let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful, glorious day here in the world of the Andrada, where we are on our pirate ship. Uh, we have met our goal. We have found our cobwebs, so we have met our mission. Um, I'd like to go and loot. I had not looted this um, pirate ship as of yet, so I want to go ahead and take that care of that. Though it looks like there's a lot of loot here. Oh, man, we're going to need to definitely set up a... Um, Waystone here, somewhere relatively safe. Didn't I have another waystone? Did I forget to pick up the waystone that was explore? Pirate. No, 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 wait. I remember. I put one down in that cave. Yeah. Okay. I love that using the waystones does not cost experience. I appreciate that being disabled. Um, what I'm going to do is just set up a barrel over here. We'll go ahead and get it um, upgraded, and then I can just dump loot in there, and then we can I'll sort through that kind of stuff in between episodes. That's not something that we need to watch happen. I really would love to get um, Tom's simple storage going. How do I make those? You are... Oh, there was too many sticks. That's you. And then I also am going to need another one to upgrade it to copper. You and then surround you like so. Copper. Let's grab some copper and then cook it up. Uh, we do have a blast furnace, so we can go ahead and blast furnace that. Uh, put you where you belong and yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so. Uh, Upgrade, you can see it does that little indent. We can go ahead and do this, and then we can just start shoving this stuff inside of here um, just to get us somewhere to put it. There we go. Okay, cool. I like that. So now we can go back over here. We can go to the pirate ship, and we can loot this um, without having to worry about where is all the loot going to go. Granted, um, we are going to run out of room because there seems to be quite a lot of loot on this ship. Uh, so, yeah. We do still have the uh, killer silverfish running around here in places. I have not been able to find that spawner for them yet. Um, but loot everything. Take it all. Bucket of chow. Like all this loot down here too. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, I guess it's going to be... Yeah, it's about time for us to go home because I have no room for loot. Okay, let's be selective about it then, I guess. Uh, what don't I need? I'll take spider eyes, bronze seashells. What are you used for? You make bone meal. Okay, so we can just do that. We can do that and turn you directly into the bone meal. Um, opaline seashells from twigs. You also just make bone meal. Okay. Uh, the fish, I don't necessarily... Do I need the fish? I've actually heard that I do need fish. Um, gas tears, that's pretty good. Prismarine. Uh, water bottles, we'll get rid of those. We don't need water bottles. Sponge we'll take. Um, gosh, swordfish are the worst. Bane of Minecraft. Um, redstone dust, magma cream we can take. We'll take this melon slice, the rabbit's foot. I guess, I don't know why I need those card boxes, but I'll take them. Some more bone meal. Potion of bad luck, no thank you. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more room. Now, is there anything here I can get rid of? It's just we can just make ourselves faster. Okay, cool. We got that going on for us, which is nice. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Prismarine, Prismarine, Prismarine. Are you used for anything specific? Can I like convert you back into Prismarine shards or anything like that? I don't think so. Other than you looking nice, I don't... Yeah, you're used to making an advanced guardian beam turret, but by the time I get to that point, I'm sure I can, you know, craft that myself. Now, the prismarine and the prismarine bricks I will keep because those can be converted. Um, seashells, what are you used for? I'm making a sandcastle. Okay, I don't need to make a sandcastle. 
unless the sandcastle is used in some sort of recipe. No. Antique ink I know I need. Um, the glass bottle I don't need. All the fish. Uh, from what I understand, I do need the fish. Okay. Where is the spawner for these guys? Because it is getting on my nerves. Oh, a command block? Oh, this is probably the command block that uh, turns the boat when I get close to it into. Okay, so they're spawning from over here. The spawner has to be over here. Where are you? Prismarine activator rail. Don't need dark oak planks. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff. Gas tears, another one I'll take. Fermented CI. Or spider eye. Glowstone. I don't have glowstone available to me yet, so I'll take all of it. Bone meal. Sea lantern. Prismarine. A salmon trophy. A dolphin plushie. Rosate sea thingy. Some weird loot on here. These uh these pirates had some weird stuff. Okay. Prismarine. I thought I had Prismarine. Did I get rid of that Prismarine by accident? Um, we'll get rid of... Um, no, I guess we don't need to get rid of anything, do we? Because we have a backpack. I keep forgetting that backpacks exist. So we don't need to get rid of anything. We can grab all of it. Uh, what we can do is also grab these extra cobwebs, too. Shears? Did I put my shears away? I did. I must have put my shears in that backpack that's at home, or that chest that's at home. That's all right. Not too big of a deal. Ooh, blaze powder. Uh, a nautilus shell block. Do you just convert down into nautilus shells? You do. That's kind of nice. Okay. What about you? Um, prismarine activator rails. Like, do I need prismarine activator rails? I don't know specifically. Honestly, no idea what they do. Skeleton skull. Take that. Wither Skeleton Skull, absolutely going to take that. Ah, there it is. Jeez Louise. Got it. Okay, no more Silverfish. Now I can loot with impunity. Okay, Whew. now I don't have to be like so stressed out about those Silverfish coming at me. Sea Lantern, Blaze Powder. Oh, okay, I guess I do. There must be another one. Maybe... Opposite side then? Up here? There is a, that sound is creepy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, there. All right. Now leave me alone. Okay. Let's go ahead and, um, look, that's a, like, king wither skeleton. Ooh, ah. Uh, we'll grab that. Grab that. Not that. That. Prismarine. Prismarine bricks. Do I need a crab bucket? Like, I don't know. Puffer fish. Do I need puffer fish? And a lot of them. I don't know. I know I need the antique ink for sure. Golden carrots will take, um, I guess those card boxes are cool. We can see what kind of cards we get. I'm not gonna, not gonna turn it down. Now, f that's a lot of nourishment actually, in that seafood gumbo. Antique ink for sure. Do, 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 do. Aquamarine, I guess. I don't know what it's used for, but let's just grab all the cool stuff that looks cool. The gas tears for sure. Sponges. Now, do I need sponges or wet sponges? How do I get the sponge to be a wet sponge? Do I just put it outside and let it get in the rain? I think I need wet sponges for sure. Uh, oh, a crab trap. That is actually requires a heart of the sea to make. So I'm definitely happy to grab that. Because heart of the seas are not. Ooh, saturation 10. Sure, we'll take that. Let's go ahead and do that. Anything that can go into those can go in. Do I need a cauldron? Eh, that's a lot of iron. We'll take it. And then finally, you. Phantom membranes now used for much. We'll find out later. Blaze powder. Potion of water breathing. That'd be kind of nice, especially since we are, you know, exploring water at the moment. But we'll survive. Any other chests around here? Is it nighttime? It is. We can sleep and hopefully it'll stop this rain. That music that's going on right now is kind of spooky, though. Do you guys hear it? It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. 
That is a tall mountain. Wow, look at that. That's a jungle, too, it looks like. Um, yeah, okay. I think that was effective exploring. I'm going to be satisfied with that. I'd love to see what's inside of this pirate ship here. But, yeah, those guys had enchants, and they were they seem to be a little bit tougher than I am. So we're going to go ahead and say no-go to those guys. What is that? Oh, is that one of those? Uh, is that the music I'm hearing? Yeah, that's a star shard. That's what it was. Okay, so it wasn't the music from the boat. That's that sound was coming from the star metal. It must have fallen while we were exploring that, and we ended up with a bunch of, well, a bunch of nothing. But the star metal did fall. Nice big old ravine there. If we had that water breathing, we could go explore there, but I didn't grab that potion. Why? Who knows? It's the Andrada. Why do I do half the things I do? Anyway, I'm trying to get over to land here so I can plop down a waystone so we can head back home so I can make the uh, Explorer's Compass so we can find a stronghold so we can start getting other ores. Because we're kind of sort of bottlenecked right now on our resources and things like that until we can get to um, the uh, dimensions so that we can do the thing. So, yeah. Um, let's grab a waystone, yeah. Grab that. This is explore. This is where we ended up at. And there's probably more that we're going to explore as we keep going. We'll keep heading south here and keep seeing what we can find. You know, we got the jungle over in that direction. Redwoods over there. We got plenty of places to explore. But for now, what I want to do is come in here, drop off as much of this stuff as I can. At least minimize the amount of inventory that I have to clean up. Okay. Now, I don't want the portal keys to go in there, so let's go put that guy back. Um, and we'll take all these. Anything like this can go in there. You can go in there. Fish can go there. Fish can go there. Rabbit foot, and that can count as a mob drop. Uh, sponge. Don't know where to put a sponge right now. Water bottle, we'll get rid of that. You are rosate seashell. I'm assuming you turn into bone meal. Yep. Mob drops, and a fermented one can go into the mob drops too. Sure. Uh, potion of slowness, I don't want. We'll put antique ink over here with the rest of the antique ink. Knife goes here. Where did my shears end up? Where is the cobwebs? Yeah, and I'll organize all this stuff later. The crab trap, I'd like to go put out in the water. I think that's what we do with this, right? Crab trap, that is down here. Ready to plunge into the depths for the ocean's finest treats, mollusks, and crustaceans? Uh, these underwater delicacies elude the traditional fishing line, so it's time to deploy a crab trap. Set it, at the bottom, yeah. Set it at the bottom of a water body, bait it, and wait. Soon enough, your trap will be home to delectable crabs, clusters, shrimps, and or clams. Uh, while you can bait the traps with fish directly, for better results, transform them into buckets of chum. Let's look at chum. Uh, bucket of chum. It's just fish with bone meal in a bucket. Okay, we can handle that part now. We can go take care of this now because we got bone meal. Bam, bam. It was only two bone meal. I'm going to assume we're going to want to do this quite a few times. But uh, And then a fish. And wait, we want... I know for sure we're going to want pearls. So like, what kind of chum is this? Clam chum. That's what I would want. Tropical fish is going to make clam chum. And that's exactly what I have here. Um, and then we just need one, two, three. We're going to need some more food soon, too. Just throwing that out there. Um, clam chum. Okay. And then our that. Okay. Cool. So that takes care of that. Now the Explorer's Compass is going to be specifically cracked stone bricks, which is stone bricks cooked up. So I need some stone. Um, I don't... Oh, I happen to have stone bricks. So we can go ahead and cook... Well, we'll just cook eight of them because I don't want to waste the coal. Throw that in there. Uh, we have some stuff we can throw into our lava. Like, not you. Whew. We can throw you in there. The Potion of Slowness we don't need. We can do that. Uh, we can go ahead and place this. Now, it says place it in an ocean. Does that have to be in an ocean? 
At the bottom of a water body. Okay, so it's nowhere fancy. The deeper it is, the better, or can it just be like, like, I mean, now it says the bottom of a water body. Does that mean like down here? Like, I mean, the bottom of this is pretty deep. Let's just put it here and see what happens. Uh, and we got bait, clam chowder, clam chow. Let's go ahead and make sure that this area is chunk loaded since we are going to be exploring. Uh, I have chunk loaded. Oops. No, I want a chunk manager. Good. Chunk loaded. Get out of there. Thank you. Come back to that later. Maybe we'll get some clams. We'll see. We should be good to go on our cracked stone bricks now. Okay. So now we can use that to craft this. Though we do need some iron and some redstone. And we will have an explorer's compass. And the reason we wanted the Explorer's Compass was so we can find a stronghold so we can enter into these dimensions. Um, and where did I put the other cobwebs? There they are. Okay. So we can enter into personal dimensions and or custom dimensions or whatever they are and uh, open up these portals and then get the other kind of loot that is in the pack. Uh, we'll go ahead with the Wubby Wubby Cheeseburgers because there's 12 of them. It's the most that I have at the moment. Okay, so what we are looking for, this uh, Explorer's Compass is great because you can just search for certain things. So if I wanted a, you know, a village, I can search for a specific type of village I want. Or if I wanted a um, dungeon, we can search for dungeons. If I want a stronghold, we can search for strongholds. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's going to be a Young's Better Stronghold since uh, Young's is in the pack and everything. So we can go ahead and do that. And there is one... Only 569 blocks away from us. That's actually not too bad. Um, so what say we uh, head over there? Be back in a minute. Now I'm walking over towards this stronghold and I'm noticing that I have a waypoint set up. And if you remember correctly, I had marked this thing as something potential to explore. 421 blocks, 397. It seems to be that I had potentially already found the stronghold. But I remember I had looped around the wrong way, so I never went to go explore this. We could have already had the stronghold explored and didn't even know it. But we will find out when we get there. Okay, yeah, I'm going out on a limb and going to go and say that this is a stronghold. Now, here's the question. This is supposed to go onto an end portal. Am I supposed to be finding a stronghold or an end stronghold? Well, okay, that doesn't exist. So the only kind of thing is a stronghold. And there's a, yeah, nothing found <clears throat> in a 24,250 block. So it is Young's that is the structure. So I guess this is correct. I do note that there's a lot of pillagers inside of this thing. Uh, but like if we, if we grab the stronghold or the explorer's compass and we use it and we say stronghold, um, it wants us to go eight blocks, five, four, three, two, one, and we're here. Like if I dig down, is that going to take me to the portal? That'd be kind of cool if it took me straight to a portal. But let's go ahead and sleep just in case that we don't have to fight anything else going on inside of here. Um, but we're going to bust into this thing and we're going to go explore after I just noticed we go home and we remake our wooden armor because, um, well, we're almost out. So let's go ahead and head home uh, and get ourselves some armor. Now, if we take a look at our quest, wooden armor is... This step, right? There's nothing nothing better than wood, or arm, wood armor at our current state of the game. A smithing table, we can upgrade it to... Um, like, we have those smithing things, right? Coast armor trim. I don't know exactly what that does. I can upgrade it to... Oh, I can apply it to stuff, and it gets me more stuff. I'm so confused. This is and this is a uh, Minecraft, like this is Minecraft, like this is update Minecraft on how to upgrade armor. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Let's just look at the uh, wooden chest plate. Wooden chest plate. What were you again? Just a whole bunch of logs, right? 
Is it logs or planks even? Logs. Okay. So let's grab some of these magnolia logs and let's just get ourselves a new set of this armor. It is fairly decent. Like it's not the worst armor in the world. We'll just get a brand new set. I guess I'll go ahead and apply these things to it and see what in the world does this do? Because I have no idea. Let's get rid of this. Throw this on. Let's go ahead and pop out here to our trash can and yeah, eat this stuff into the trash. But yeah, these smithing templates. What? How do these work? I have no idea. And it's a vanilla thing. Updated with 1.20, isn't it? Um, I do have a smithing table up here. Upgrade your gear. If I grab my helmet, okay? I want to do that. I have this. You go there. And I get some... Now, you require heat. Interesting. I get some iron, I guess. You, you, and you will make it iron plus one armor. And it's got iron material, but it's not... It doesn't give me anything extra. Yeah, so I don't think I need to do that. Okay. I thought maybe it would upgrade it, like it gets me better iron, like, you know, it gives me some extra armor or something like that. But it did not seem to be the case there. Let's grab a fresh stack of cobblestone in the case I need to be building. Let's get rid of this bone meal. Sure, you can go into the plant. Uh, I did find another star fragment, by the way, while we were out there. Um, and let's put the helmet on. Compass can go away. Do I have arrows? One. Okay, well, that's not going to help with this. Uh, so I guess we don't need to have the crossbow on us. We can go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to I'll go out on a limb and say we're probably, oh, I had waystones on here twice, don't I? Great. I just flubbed that up. I meant to move the iron knife to here. The flint knife can chill here. Bam. Sounds good. I just put my sword away. Let's actually get another sword. Do I have one in my backpack? No. Easy enough. You know what? We'll go for it. Who knows what we're going to find in here. So let's get ourselves a, a better sword than what we currently have. Okay. I don't have any netherite, do I? I can't just go ahead and upgrade this to a netherite sword right off the bat? No? Okay. Uh, we'll keep the iron sword just in case it's needed. <clears throat> in case we run out of of uh sorting this okay cool stronghold let's go ahead now do we want to just leave the waystone here in case we die um and we can always come back or do i that's my last actually yeah that's my last waystone so let's grab it i don't have another one floating around and let's find the entrance to this stronghold and there we go we did let's get ready to destroy these pillagers oh my okay Huh, huh. Vindicators, you guys are the worst. You guys hit so hard. Jeez, they almost ah, completely took me out. Okay. Those Vindicators hit hard. Do you have loot up here? Like, was this even worth me almost dying for? Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeez, Louise. First death. And I did not put my waystone down. Not first death. I've actually died before to those stupid shorts. Oh, man. Oh, man. I should have put that waystone down, shouldn't I? Oh. All right. That was absolute fail maybe i should turn on keep inventory so that i don't have to worry about this but since this pack is so explore heavy um i'll be back well i'm heading back over here and i found some warp pipes in the water which i know are good for um teleporting i can't get them right now though because i don't have a pickaxe so i'm out of luck there but yeah we're almost back that was an absolute fail on my behalf um now I'm really debating if I should turn keep inventory on. That way I don't have to deal with this. If I die again, it's going to happen. Um, just because just the running back. Uh, if, like, if I'm playing like single player and stuff by myself, I wouldn't turn it on. But I'm recording. I need this takes time. And having to come back up here every single time is going to suck. 
I did bring some cobblestone so that I can. Uh, this is going to be tough. I brought cobblestone so I could block off those vindicators, but that's not going to happen. And I need to get to my body. Okay. Oh, man, what do I do in this situation? I'm about to just go uh, creative and fly over there and get my body back. Because I was not, not prepared for that, and that's very annoying. We'll be back. You know what? Forget it. Uh, it's happening. I do not feel like I, it's going to be like impossible for me to get past that Vindicator at this point. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and allow cheats, game mode. We're turning God mode on for a minute. I got to get my body back. I'm flying over there. I'm getting my body back. This is the only time this is going to happen. I, this is just That's going to be very frustrating. And I'm probably going to turn keep inventory on so that this doesn't happen again. Should have thought about that ahead of time, but I didn't. If you don't like that I turned on uh, creative mode for this, I understand, but I don't, I'm not going to say I don't care, but I don't care. Yeah, is that is that a fair sentiment? I just need to get my body back. Then I'll go back to being normal. All right, so let's grab this body. Yep, give me that. And the, the other issue is, is that when I die, it's not like a normal, um, what's it called? archivist what are you it's not a normal i have to transfer items and then get all my stuff back okay i don't even want to grab that chest because that, that'd be cheating at this point so i'm going to come back down here we're going to come down here and we're going to close the door we'll come over here and two things first let's go ahead game mode survival Okay, so now we're back on. So what is this plate? Oh, that's the rat guy. That would actually be kind of handy to have. Number two, we're going to go ahead and do what I said and set this up. Stronghold. Number three, we're going to go to game rule. Keep inventory true. Okay, so now when I die, I don't lose all my stuff. Just means I don't have, I don't have to worry about soulbound or anything like that. It's basically just cheap, cheaty soulbound. But I don't care. Okay, don't care. I'm not going to let that happen again, especially since, this, again, this pack is so um, explore heavy. If I didn't have the ability to get back over here or anything like that, it just absolutely sucks to have to do all that. You go into the. Oh, I got hurt because I took it off. I was like, what just hurt me? OK, now, there is this one vindicator here that I have to deal with. Look at how he's running at me. Okay, good. He's gone. I don't have to deal with him anymore. I'd like to see. Oh, instead of jumping down, you can walk down. That's kind of nice. This is probably the path that's expected to take if you uh on your way back up because that lever was on the outside there. But yeah, okay, cool. Now, my only issue is, is that ah, I need to go grab that waystone. Or should I grab the warp pipes? Should I go check those out really quick? What my concern is, is that I'm going to get down. I'm going to get to this portal that I have. And I'm not going to have my, any way to get myself back to where I need to be. So I should grab. Hello, Plague Doctor. You'll get me old treacle. What would be the most beneficial thing for me to get here? Some of this garbage pile, maybe? That's all the emeralds I have, so that's all I can get. Okay. You go on to the back slot. All right. Let's do this. But then let's go check out those. Before we explore any further, let's go grab those warp pipes and see how does that work. Okay, come on. Stop getting on my nerves. Thank you. Okay, so warp pipes. Oh, you know what? Let me, uh, we have cheat mode still on. Let me go ahead and reload the world. All right. Cheat mode off, or land mode off at least, uh, and warp pipes here. We'll grab those. Now, how do these work? Does each one of these count as a pipe? Can I just use one of these? Because that's the case that I just get myself eight warp pipes. Now, I do know that the coloring matters, right? The color of the warp pipe determines which warp pipe you're going to teleport to so you'll go from yellow to yellow and it's random which one you actually get to um 
So like if I plant a yellow one here and then I plant a yellow one at my base and then I put a yellow one in the stronghold, when I jump into it, it's a random warp pipe that I'll actually warp into of the same color. But I do believe you can change the colors of them. But like if I put one here and one here and then I hop on this, do I have to shift? Do I have to right click? How do I how do I actually access this or use it? Does it have to be taller than that? Does it have to be in the water? I don't know why it would have to be in the water. But maybe it does. I mean, it had bubbles coming out of it when it was in the water. How do I use the warp pipes is my question. Let's go over to the stronghold because what I'd like to do is set. Maybe those are too close to each other and that's why I didn't want to work. Do I have to do anything special? No? Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to leave this warp pipe here. Maybe, maybe it has to be too high. I don't know. Those other ones were both varying sizes. Obviously, and those that, that's not going to go anywhere because there's nowhere else for it to go to. Do I, like, bind it? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go inside to this stronghold. We're going to go explore down below and see if we can't find the portal. Once we find the portal, we will uh, set one down and see what happens. Like, no, I, no idea. Would it be faster for me to have jumped down? Absolutely, but I didn't. Uh, my goal here is to get to the portal. We've got a few minutes left this episode, but I want to finish and get to the portal so we can see what these custom dimensions are like before um, we do anything else. I also don't know what to expect from Young's Better Strongholds. I think I have explored these once before, but it's been a long while. And I don't know what to expect. At least it's fairly well lit up here. It's kind of sort of maze-like. Some books. Okay. Treasure pot, some seeds, artifact shards. Okay, okay, nothing, nothing down here. We'll go this way. I have no idea what I'm looking for, to be honest. It's all starting to blend together. I'm assuming I'm looking for a way down. I need to start marking where I've been. I don't have any torches with me, though, so that's a uh, dumb decision on my part. I've been there. I've been here. All right. So what I'll do, we'll mark that there. I've been there. Okay. This is just a circle. Okay. So I don't need to go. Let's mark it here. I've been there. Don't need to go there. Okay, and you're just going to lead me back to here, so we can go ahead and mark there. And this is where I started. What? There is another side to this, though. Okay. Now we've got enemies. Okay, so is that... That looked like a Vindicator there. Those are the guys I'm most wary of, is the Vindicators, because those axes they have, they just... They just hit so hard with those things. So those are the guys I'd like to kind of avoid as much as I can. If if we can. Blocks of amethyst. We've already gotten a bunch of these. But we'll take more. It's not going to hurt. Oh, there's a whole, just like a whole amethyst cave built into this stronghold. Okay. Uh, maybe we should not destroy all of that for future uh, future purposes. Okay, you're a provoker. I wish I had a bow. I need more arrows. I do have this bow right now. Okay. 
Got him. I'm out of arrows, though. So. Okay, we got a cave system running through the stronghold. What else are we going to find? An end portal would be nice. That's that's my goal. Okay. So we can go ahead and say we have been here. Right? There was nothing down there. Nothing down there. Okay, so we don't need to come this way anymore. At least it's fairly lit up in here. I'm not going to complain about the lighting situation. And we have been down here. Yeah, that's the Vindicator. Can I, like... I'd like to get him over here and then I can like attack him at my own pace. Well, he hasn't noticed me yet, so nothing else in there. Okay, come on. You are a weird looking vindicator. I don't know what's up with you. We're going to do this. Uh-huh, what are you going to do? You're a marauder. Oh, what? Did he shoot me? Oh, he's throwing axes at me. What? That's not cool, guy. I know he can get through here now, but that's okay. He's throwing axes. What is up with that? This is going to be much more intense for me to explore than I uh, expected here. Let's go ahead and let's get to the next turn. And then I'll do this so they can't see me. Maybe there'll be some loot in here that could help me. So far, no. What I'll do is place my waystone down. We'll go drop off some of this loot. Maybe we can check out that warp pipe too while we're at it. At this point, we're not going to be able to finish exploring this stronghold in this episode. So we'll come back next episode for it for sure. Drop off none of the loot because I have no room for loot. Uh, warp pipe. Okay, so if I jump into you. Ha! Ha! Huzzah! Huzzah! Maybe you do have to be in water. I don't know. We'll figure these things out uh, next episode. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to empty inventory. I'm going to go back over there um, and we will continue exploring the stronghold in the next episode and hopefully get into one of these dimensions at some point. Um, yeah, it's a little rougher than expected. Maybe I should make some iron armor or something like that. Some better armor than what we have going on. Uh, we'll have to compare. We'll do that next episode. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy.